In this section, we are going to talk about how we can add tabs to our React Native Navigation. Just like you can see now, when I click on the settings push button, it fixes and goes to the settings. So I fix that. Uh, it's kind of pretty simple. I will make available the code just like I said on my blog or on GitHub. You can have access to it through any medium. Then down here, you can see that we have two tabs. We have the settings tabs and we have the home tab. When I click in, on any of these, same thing we have. Then when I come here and click on home, uh, right now we are on home, of course. When we come over here, it's something different. You can still have access to our stack and there's a back button because we pushed into our settings stack. So the way we are going to do this is very, very simple. Just come down. Oh, guys, just give me a couple of seconds. Let me get things properly arranged. Uh, forgive me for that. So back. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to, we can as well take uh, this thing out from here if we wish. Of course, when you're pushing it into a stack, you need to specify a title, but let's say in our component, we need to define some default uh, title for our components. Just like when you come over to settings, you want to see settings here. So same thing that we did for this one, we just have to grab this and bring it down. And just change this to setting screen. So that's how we can fix that. Then we need that we need to register our components, uh, which we have not yet done. So we can now register the, uh, the, the two components. We need to register the home components and uh, we can bring in the home screen. And also we can copy this down, just change this to settings. Now we can bring this to settings screen. Then we can now set a default uh, uh, options if we wish. Uh, the default of option have to do like uh, when you're styling something like you want to have an overall styling on all your uh title bar or on all your tabs down here you want to have an overall styling that we definitely that you definitely use in all your components so it's very simple we can do that with navigation dot set default options then we can bring in the status bar change the background color let me kind of use red so that at the end you are going to have a big understanding of where i say then top bar we have to give it a color, the title color of, uh, let's give it a blue. Then we can now give it a background color of white. Or let's just type the back button for now. Back button, color of, let me give it a yellow. And lastly, we can, let me just give it a background color background color or let's just okay uh, let's just use background background of color of uh, let's use white so these are the default options you can specify for every component to use so when you do this whether your home uh, components or your settings components and mind you when i say components i mean routes because we just register this component as route so right here. So when you uh, set this, you can use it. It's going to have effects on all your components or on all your routes. So lastly, we have to register the events. But remember that we are using uh, the tabs method. So we are not going to, this is not going to be like the, the one we did initially, like assigning a single root component. We are going to make this in another method. So just navigation dot set root. So what I mean is that in the root objects, we can now bring in our bottom tabs. Then in the bottom tabs, we can bring in the children. There's going to be an array of stacks. So if you watch the first uh, two, I think the second video you should really ha have an understanding of what I'm doing. Then it's going to have a children, then an, an array of objects. Then we have the components, 
uh, this this kind of uh, I hope that the developers kind of reduce this code. It's kind of very long, which uh, we have the name. The first one is the home, and uh, you need that. We also have to specify another stack. So let me just format that. So at the end of here, another stack beneath that. So it's just going to be. Hmm. So down here, we have to bring another stack. We will child children of an array of components. And uh, it's going to be a settings. Yes, because we specified the settings as when, when we register the component above here. So that's exactly what you're making use of. Then you can add your styles. Uh, let's see whether we use any style. And I use, I think I use a style here, root. So I'm just going to make a style on styles, style sheet dot create roots give it a flex one because we want everything to make use of the whole width align the items to center and uh justify every content to center likewise then we can give it a background color of uh, let's use a white smoke so the design is going to be kind of awkward but it's going to really show you a visual example of what i i would meant earlier all this red blue color yellow all this is going to be kind of funny, but uh, let's just see what we have. So I'm going to terminate the already running app, and I'm going to unplug my phone, on the right, and hit enter. So let's just give it a couple of seconds to see the outcome of what we've done so far. So this is the outcome of what we have done so far. And I don't think this is buggy, just like the previous ones we did that uh, had a real issue. Of course, I, I told you that I'm going to make available the code, but let's kind of click here. So right now we're in the settings components. Go back, go to the settings tab. There's a different thing altogether. And this a pushed uh, route over here. So that's how we can actually achieve this. And you can see that the red color, the red color I did specify there is this status bar over here. So all these things are very, very pretty simple to understand. So guys, don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button. And uh, make sure to also uh, check out my channel to see more React Native course to have a very deep knowledge of how you can use React Native. So thank you and see you on the next video.